Welcome to Safe Conveyor. Today we're testing a customer's product. They're moving these plastic spins, put salad or something in them, food, and they're going to be putting them on the conveyor and they might be open or closed. They're going to go around the turn. And because they have irregular shapes and not flat on the bottom, we just wanted to make sure that we would be able to do a 90 degree transfer. So we have a 12 inch belt. We're going to run them down the 12 inch belt, we'll stick them on the conveyor. Move down to the corner. And as you can see, they're going to go around the corner. Put them on again. Put them on a different, reorientate them so they're not exactly the same way. I'm going to, instead of having them this way, which was long way, I'm going to put them on sideways. Put one on there, put another one on there, put another one on there. And then because it's low friction belting, it's going to accumulate on the, on the end so when people pick them up, I'm going to keep going in. I don't know if they're going to accumulate. But accumulating just means you're going to stop the product and the belt's going to slide. I think the customer might have been concerned about how these were going to transition around this corner. You know, and you can see it's quite smooth coming around there. And we just basically have a transfer plate and we're going in the side. These are running at um, 60... 62 and a half feet per minute. It just happens this conveyor can go up to uh, 125 feet per minute with these motors. And just for general principles here, this is our 60 watt drive. As you can see, it's the size of the motor on there. And the other conveyor, the customer likes to use a 120 watt drive, and you can see it's a bit bigger. Sticks out a little further. But when you're going higher speeds, you get less torque out of the motor, so sometimes you have to step up the power on the motor to get what you need to do. And the more you accumulate, the more power you're going to need. But on this particular application, they wouldn't probably need anything more than these 60-watt drives. There's not a lot of weight. All right. Thanks for watching.